Welcome back to MMA Oddsbreaker. Today we got uh, the Bull, John McDessie, getting ready to fight. UFC 186, April 25th, Montreal, Canada. But as of right now, as I'm looking at it, we're doing this interview uh, here on uh, on uh, April 1st. It says Abel Trujillo is who you're fighting. But he pulled out, and they've just announced, maybe three or four minutes ago, a brand new opponent. So who's the new opponent? Uh, his name is Shane, Shane uh, Campbell. Shane Campbell, and he's out of Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. So talk to me. You've only had a couple minutes, really, to think about this guy and to get through it. You've just finished one training session with him as your new opponent. <laughs> What's different? I mean, it's a different mindset now. It's a different guy. It's a different body. Is it a different style of fighting? Is it a different – does he pose different problems than Abel did? So what's the what's the process right now for you in his first practice? Yeah, I mean, I, absolutely. I mean, uh, right, I mean, <clears throat> most people don't, don't understand that there's a lot of thought – there's a lot of process behind the training. You know what I mean? It's, uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's me in sense, in a sense of approving in the MMA game. There's always something to approve. My goal the past year, I, I, I've been, uh, you know, keep evolving, keep getting better, keep sharpening the tool. You know what I mean? Keep sharp, sharpening my tools. And now, uh, fighting, uh, my previous opponent, you know, he was very aggressive, uh, from black zillions. You know, I know how those guys train down there. Very tough fight. And I was actually very excited to fight him because of uh, because of, of our styles, I, and I believe that our styles is very exciting for the fans. You know, it, it would have been a fan favorite fight uh, in a sense of you know, I mean, there's no secret. There's no secret to me. You know, I mean, my style of fighting. I'm, I'm not trying to. I'm not gonna try to win points or take the guy down or hold him down. I'm, my goal is to to outstrike him. My goal is to out wrestle him. My goal is to make it exciting. You know, and and, and the same time be dominant. Try to dominate. Be outsmart the guy. You know what I mean? That's my style of fighting, you know. Uh, that being said, the, my new opponent, you know, what I mean, uh, he's tall. He's six foot tall. He's we're gonna fight at catch weight one sixty. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. So, so I mean, that's that's the obvious. You know, what I mean, uh, uh, you know, three weeks notice. So, so, and he, he's a he's a kickboxer, you know, Thai, Muay Thai style. You know what I mean? So, so, uh, training partners have to kind of have to adjust to the sparring partners. I, uh, my, all my coaches, trainers. They already ha they already know, so it's it, it's you have to adjust, you know. It's constant just adjustment to the body type because he's he is tall and lanky, mm -hmm. you know, uh, and he is a, he is a Muay Thai fighter, you know. What I'm trying to say so, uh, those are the factors that I have to be aware of, and uh, you know, what I mean, and it's also it's his first debut fight in the UFC apparently. So and so there's a lot of things that, that kind of pop out here where, obviously, Abel Trujillo was five foot eight, same height that you are. To obviously yeah. now think a guy is six foot is a four inch difference. That's that's a big body difference. Yeah. Um, you obviously have a ton of training partners, so it's not very, it's not going to be hard for you to find a guy that's, that's six foot that kind of has the same frame and can be a Muay Thai fighter. So, so training partners is going to be very, is going to be very easy. But in my so. mind, you go from being potentially in the fight of the night because both of you, because you and Abel both are very active. You're very aggressive. You will stay in there and throw punches at each other and, and make it to being like a fight of the night type fight to quite possibly, because this guy's first time in the UFC. Three week notice, catch weight, which means he's not going to be in great shape. He's a Muay Thai guy. He's very, very smart as a Muay Thai guy. So he'll find his space, find his pacing, and slow things down. So you go from potentially winning fight of the night bonuses to unless you knock this guy out clean and quick, you aren't going to be eligible for any bonus because the way the fight now changes up. Um, yeah. Are you going to have to change strength and conditioning as well? I mean, obviously changing tactics because of the height difference and, and a different opponent. But are you have to change... Strength and conditioning as well. I have to change how you approach the wrestling game or how you approach the grappling game. Uh, I mean, like I said, little adjustments. I truly believe that at the end of the day, I can't really focus on what he's gonna do. I can only focus on what I'm gonna do. You know what I mean? That's the that's the mental game. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I, that I, I learned that at the end of the day, the out the outcome is out of my control. You know what I mean? Fight night, I can just you know my goal is to to not change anything. Just stay, 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 stay at the at the task at hand, you know. And uh, I mean, strength. My my strength work is is in point. My my weight is on point. My 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 sparring my sparring is on point. My timing is there. My my, my speed is there. So I mean, there's not really much to change for me in a sense of because I was already preparing myself for a fight. You know, now it's just a new body body type. You know what I mean? At the, and at the end of the day, the only thing that changes is probably sparring partners. Okay. That's the that's the only thing that changes. So it's not that bad. It's not that bad of a switch up. Then it's kind of easy to kind of assimilate into this. But it's a catch weight. You're going yeah, from yeah. 155 to 160. You've worked hard on your diet. You worked hard on your strength and conditioning. Keep your weight down and and get those extra five pounds off. Are yeah. you relieved? You don't have to lose the extra five pounds, or are you a little upset because you put so much work in? 
at first I was upset because of my dieting. And then I realized, you know what, at the end of the day, uh, my, my nutrition guy, you know, Ben Hoffman, mm-hmm. uh, he, he's a great guy. He's one of the smartest guys I ever worked with in the nutrition in the nutrition field. Uh, he told me at the end of the day, regardless of, you know, yeah, it, if anything, it's just going to make the process easier. But the diet doesn't change. My, I'm still eating the same type of foods. I'm so, I'm so, my intake is still high proteins, high fats. You know what I mean? And 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 staying strong to perform for fight night. So, what is the what is your your coach has said about it? Was it one of those situations where we're so close? This is the first name that came across the table, and we're saying yes. Or is there a couple of different names that got thrown at you, and you, you and your coaches had to sit down and and really think about which guy you're going to take. I think at this point, the three weeks mark, you know, close to a fight. I think this was this was the only name that was thrown there, and uh, my coaches felt they felt good in a sense of uh, in the sense of the, the matchup. Did ever the Faraz Zahabi, my head MMA coach, he mm-hmm. felt good about this fight uh, about the the matchup, and uh, at the end of the day, it's a fight. You know what I mean? I'm not yeah. gonna go in there. Uh, I'm not gonna go in there hands down and chin up. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna be smart. Yeah. My, my game plan is always to be smart, be first, and, and not get hit. Is there a, Do you have anybody else uh, that, that is going to be on the same card with you that you're training with right now? Not necessarily the same, you know, not around the same weight class, even bigger or lighter. Yeah, of course. I've just, actually, there's a couple of you guys I try to start fighting. There's uh, Nordin Taleb, there's uh, Chad Laprise, and there's Olivier, Oli Oli uh, Ube. Is there, is that... Also, to go in, go into the factor of how you're training and, and how you approach this fight. Because one, it's hometown. Two, it's you know TriStar is the biggest the biggest group in Montreal right now. So of course, there's a lot of guys and they're fighting on the card. Yeah. Does that kind of all develop into like we you know we got to make sure this fight goes ahead and I got to make sure that I'm on point, no matter what happens, no matter what guy they put in front of me. Well, yeah, the intensity right now is high. You know, my I'm 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 my high intensity every day. You know, my intensity is high. So so I mean, I, I've been sparring with guys that that. Uh, are in great shape, you know what I mean. So, so for me, like I said, uh, the intensity for me doesn't change. My intensity stays high, and and uh, and uh, like I said, it just mentally changes. Just the mental visualization changes of the opponent. You know what I mean? Will you have a huge hometown advantage? Uh, obviously, Montreal is your hometown, but your opponent's from Vancouver, the other side of the country. Is that in, in Canada? Is that a big hometown advantage for you? Uh, I mean, I mean, my goal is to 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 fight frequently in Montreal because of because of you know it's very convenient for me you know what I mean and also also to build a, a big fan base in MMA like right now I believe that MMA in Canada I mean it's, it's not really bi- as big and I find that there's a lot of talent in MMA the Canadian fighters I find are suffering you know what I mean a lot of Canadian fighters are suffering because of the of the, it's not as 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 high in demand as the the Americans. They can fight more frequently, you know. But the thing is, as a Canadian fighter, to always travel, it's, there's a lot of there's a lot of headaches behind the scenes that people don't know. You know, a lot of paperwork and the, and the taxes and all that mm-hmm. stuff. So there's a lot of stress. Uh, already, MMA is a stressful game. It's a lot of complex. It's it's a, it's a already complex sport. You know what I mean? You know, just finding the right trainers, finding the right group of people to actually take care of you. You know what I mean? MMA is a uh, you know, I call I call it like CrossFit. You know, it's all quantity, no quality. You know, it's just a bunch of, especially now. Now it's becoming oversaturated. You know, mm-hmm. so so me, I'm I'm very old school. I'm I'm a raw fighter. I'm I, I keep it simple. I try to keep it simple, effective, and and, and try to have longevity. You know, I, I want to have longevity. You know, what I mean, I don't want to go in there and burn myself out and and then I have a short career. You know what I mean? So I try to be smart fighter. You know what I mean? John, thanks so much for coming out here and spending some time with us. Uh, it's great. You know, when I text you yesterday and you're like, wow, I just had an opponent change. I told you they're going to find yeah. somebody for you. It, don't worry about it. It's going to work out. Was right. it stressful when you yeah. when you heard, hey, this guy, my opponent's pulled out? Did, was there any, was there ever a question in your mind that, hey, I might not be able to fight on this card because they might not find me somebody? Were you worried about that at all? Oh, 100%. Of course, the, the stress is, uh, is always there. You know, I mean, one year, have been I didn't fight in a year, over a year. I had eye surgery, you know. I had a lot of personal problems. I had to restructure my my my, my personal stuff. Mm-hmm. So so yeah, of course the stress is the the, the stress level went higher because at the end of the day it, it is this is my living, you know. what I'm trying to say so 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 uh, of course, but you know it did it did cross my mind. Uh, but uh, like you said, you know, I mean this is the first time this actually happened to me. So uh, you know, I guess you know you, you have to live and learn. Great job. I can't wait for this fight to happen. It's going to be interesting to see how, how things pan out in this one. Um, thanks. thanks for coming out here. I appreciate it, man. Have a, have a great rest of your training camp. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much, brother. Take care.